Hello and welcome to another episode of Kira Electric News. As I reported during the week, a revised version of the Integrated Charging Control Unit software update, ICCU for short, that came out in September is now available. My dealer installed the original update back in September. The, the, the update campaign number was 230071, which has remained the same as this new update. My car is booked in next week for the update, which is expected to take one hour. The ICCU is the power inverter that sits under the back seat and provides power conversion to and from the traction battery, charges the 12 volt battery and provides power to, for vehicle to load. The original campaign details are as follows. Diagnostic logic enhancement. This bulletin provides the procedure to upgrade the ICCU software for some EB6 and EB6 GT vehicles to enhance their diagnostic logic for overcurrent, while LDC, which is the low voltage DC, low voltage DC to DC converter is in operation. Uh, and that's all the details I have for now. The version of the software installed on, the, on this update back in September was ECV1E3-IES12R000. I will report back next week and let you know what has changed and if it has changed and any other fresh details that I can find out. During the week in the EU, Kia Connect 2.1.17 has been released on both iOS and Android. Apart from under the bonnet bug fixes, the only difference I can find is the offers inbox, which can be found under the more tab. This would seem to be offering discount vouchers. There is currently nothing in this inbox at the moment, so very little has changed. On the 19th of December, the new maps and head unit update was released in Australia, New Zealand and the Middle East. Release notes are very light in detail, but besides the updated maps, I've heard that the new energy user screen can now be accessed on the Kia EV6. Also, the new Sounds of Nature is also available. Uh, no news on the Indian release yet. Hyundai Group YouTube channel has released a series of how-to videos for connected car navigation cockpit-based cars, CCNC for short, for both Hyundai and Kia. They cover topics such as voice control, infotainment, radio, Sounds of Nature, navigation system, and also how to use the fingerprint reader. I will put links in the description to the channel landing page. Also this week, Kia has released a bunch of EV9 how-to videos on, on their worldwide channel. They cover features such as Remote Start Parking Assist 2, Highway Driving Assist, HDA in brackets, Seat Convenience Functions, Lane Following Assist, LFA, Interior and Exterior Features, Infotainment, Door Mirrors and also Interior and Exterior Features of the Base Model EV6. I will put a link to the landing page in the description just like the other one. Octopus Electroverse this week has introduced plunge off-peak pricing with big discounts. This applies currently to Ionity and Osprey Charging in the UK. So for example on December the 21st you were able to get 45% off Ionity and Osprey Charging Chargers in the UK from 9pm until midnight. You have to be running the Electroverse app to get notified. If you're travelling over the Christmas break you may be able to take advantage of these big discounts. Electroverse also supports Android Auto, so you should be able to see the notifications on the infotainment screen if you're running your Android Auto. If you fancy joining Octopus Electroverse, we can both share £10 referral fee, £5 each. The link is up there and also in the description. Hyundai Group is reported to be shutting down two of its engine plants. Reuters reports that Hyundai is shutting down two internal combustion engine plants in South Korea. This shows that Hyundai is even more committed to EVs than other legacy car companies like VW Group, which seem to be investing in internal combustion engines again and slowing down releases of new EVs. Oh, it doesn't make sense to me. That's all for now. I'd just like to wish you all a happy Christmas if you celebrate it, or happy holidays if you don't. Wherever you are in the world, have a good one. Thanks for watching.